Welcome back to On the Beat, everyone. Isaac hosting again this week. And on today's agenda, we are going to talk about plumbing, I think. Uh, here with me to answer <laughs> all of your questions, Randy uh, Anderson. Uh, he is the uh, owner of the uh, Tupelo Oxford Rotor Rooter. Randy, sure appreciate you uh, spending time with us. Thanks, Isaac. Glad to be morning. here. Yeah. All right. We'll get right into it. Uh, so, Rotor Rooter, uh, I think a pretty you know, widely known company, but what exactly is it? Well, that's uh, that we got into it about 20 years ago. I bought my first Rotor Rooter franchise 20 years ago, and only because I had grown up with it in the 60s, you know, hearing that famous jingle, you know, uh, and away go troubles down the drain. So, <laughs> so it was a great, it's a great brand and a great company. All right, so we've got issues at home, but we don't know exactly what they are. Um, so we, how do we know when to call or why should we call you? Well, good, good question. We, we probably, um, if you have something that you're unfamiliar with or you've got a leak or you've got, you know, the water heater's not working, we, we're focused on solving problems. That's we're a, we're, we don't do new construction, we do service plumbing. Okay. So um, you call and you're going to get somebody that answers the phone 24-7 because I hate talking to an answering machine. So that's that's number one. And then the ladies in most cases, I think, I, yeah, they're all ladies, they'll get you set up on having one of the one of the plumbers come out. Well, you mentioned that's one of the frustrating things in today's yes. world is A, having to, a person to talk to, right. and B, getting someone to call you back. So should someone decide to go with you guys, they call in, you said somebody's gonna answer 24 seven, yes. then what happens? Well, then what we do is we, we uh, identify a schedule, so we'll give you a time slot, and then one of the things I love about, you know, software is is a blessing and a curse, but what it does is it will send you a note. So you'll get a notification of the phone right when he's coming. You'll get a picture of, of the technician. So we've got one, one young man, I love his name, Jimmy Dale. And so Jimmy Dale gets, uh, you'll get a picture of Jimmy Dale and a little bio on him. Because my wife, uh, she's the one that kind of drove it. She said, I hate to not know who's coming. And all of a sudden this van shows up and, you know, who is this guy, you know, in this grungy shirt and the rest. So, sure. So they pull up in a, va uh, a labeled van, you'll have a picture of who it is, and you'll know, uh, really tracking, where, when you'll know they'll be there. Excellent, uh, that's some good stuff right there. Next question, so you said service plumbing, what does all that entail? Well, service plumbing is anything that has to do with um, fixing or uh, a damage that occurs, uh, you know, if we have a, um, a water heater that goes out or a garbage disposal or a dishwasher, uh, or this, the plumbing backs up. You know, Rotor Rooter's always been known for doing drain cleaning, but um, plumbing has been a mainstay of what we do. In fact, we could probably do more plumbing repair than anything else. All right, that gets us into the last question. Uh, so say we have somebody that's a little bit of everything. They do a little of everything. Um, why should we choose you guys over them? Well, I always talk to my, you know, you have a, we always have a lawyer, and so I use the lawyer, lawyer analogy is that I wouldn't want to have, I wouldn't want to do my own legal work, so I hire somebody who's an expert. So I, just like we wouldn't want to have a lawyer doing plumbing. Sure. So uh, we have specialties, and the world continues to get specialized, especially in the trades, because things continue to march along. So. So we focus on plumbing, and we know that and, and know that well. When new construction is good, as you mentioned, but Mississippi known for its old homes. Yes. Um, does it matter the age of the home? It doesn't. It has an impact then on because we're bringing new technology in a lot of cases into an older home so that it, it extends the life of the home. All right, Randy, we sure appreciate your time this Great. morning. Fun, fun interview, and if good. you uh, have any questions, um, you guys at home, you certainly can uh, reach out to uh, Randy. The information there on your screen if you want some, again, additional questions or information from Randy. That'll do it for this edition of On the Beat. We'll be back after this.